Welcome to another edition of IMO Sports with Pedro Justice. The body shots, the body attack. That is what made Triple G get on his back foot in some of the rounds. I saw it in the first fight and I knew if Canelo did that, he would have a better chance to win the fight. Now, I understand this was a very close fight. You can't deny that. I don't care what you think about the outcome. You cannot deny that this was a very close fight. Based on the first fight where I thought Triple G won 7-5 and they gave Canelo a draw, I can understand why people would feel no matter what happens, since it was so close, you should just make it a draw again. However, if I'm just basing it on this fight alone, there's only three scores it could be. 7-5 Canelo, a draw, or 7-5 Triple G. One round separated these two fighters. One round. So there's no way I can call this a robbery. If I focus on politics, then I see why, well, if it's this close, why wasn't it a draw like last time? I get that, and I'm not ignoring that or denying that, but if we, if these judges only focus on this fight and they separate it by one round, it's not a robbery. Triple G out-jabbed him. Like 116.59, out-jabbed him. But on power shots, it was a different story. It was a different story. Canelo landed like 143 power shots not just to the body but to the face as well because triple g his face starts showing wear and tear his body i knew that triple g's weakness was his body i knew that without a shadow of a doubt in canelo's team his dad they focused on the body go back to my keys to victory video i told you guys if canelo goes to the body he has a better chance to win. Why? Because Triple G will slow down. And that's what we saw. Triple G, it's easier for him to do a jab than to invest to the body. Because he was getting hit in the body. They were trading facial shots, but the body work all to Canelo. And so with him getting a 7-5 victory on two cards and a draw, that just shows you how close this fight was. So there was no robbery but I do understand the politics. Let me know what you think. Until next time, it's Pedro Justice.